Hello everyone, my name is Klox and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we are going to be showing you how to make Minecraft graphics, 3D renders, or any Minecraft skin that you have and desire to make, you know, a cool little render. Maybe you have like a YouTube channel or you want to do like cool graphics for a mini game you're making. Um, today will just be all about the character. Maybe I'll do another video on sets and you know importing worlds so you're going to need a blender add-on by the duck cow mc prep you're gonna need that for the character the rig swapping the skin and stuff and you know it's a good add-on to have for any minecraft related animation so i'll leave a like one minute tutorial by the duck cow on how to download that and go get that so to start you're gonna want to delete this we don't need it say goodbye to it um <laughs> Yeah, after that, you're going to want to scroll down to the mob spawner. If it says reload assets, just click that. If it's already there, just scroll down. Scroll down to you see uh, simple player. If you have a slim skin, you're going to want to click simple player slim. But I have a, I'm using a white skin for this tutorial. So um, click on that. Click spawn simple player or whichever one you picked. And now it should spawn a character. You're going to want to import your skin. So you're going to click skin from file. Or you could use a skin from your journey, but I recommend using a skin from file so you can make normal maps it's a lot easier if you do that. From here, you're gonna want to go and select your skin. I'll be back when I've gotten that. Alrighty, now that you've got your skin imported, you have it all in. Now before you pose anything, you are gonna want to get it set up. You don't wanna pose it just yet. You can, you're gonna wanna put a normal map. Now, a normal map makes it nice and bumpy. We're also going to show you how to make a material map that makes it nice and differently smooth on every edge. So you're going to do that, and I'll show you how to do that right here. Alright, so once you're in a folder with your skin, you want to copy your skin. You want to copy it, paste it two times. You're going to want to name one of the copies. I'm going to put it Kai Normal. And then I'm gonna open, name this one, I material. Now you're gonna wanna open the material map one first. Open it in your desired painting program or drawing program. I use Paint 3D, it's not that bad. It works for what I wanna use it for. So here we're gonna make a material map. Since if you open the material one, you're gonna be making a material map. So this one you're gonna wanna make shiny parts are white, black parts are dull. In between varies between them that's the gist of it so I'm gonna like this is like the brightest you'll probably want to go because you don't want it to be too shiny or else it might look weird so I have a plan for what I'm doing so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw everything in and I'll be back with you in my material map stuff Alright, when you're done drawing the material map for your skin, you're going to want to click on canvas. And you're going to resize it to 12,080. Make sure lock aspect ratio is on and resize image with canvas. Now you should have a nice big image. Click save. Next, you're going to want to go over to your normal map. Open that with your desired paint software as well. Now this time, you're going to want to make it so white is how high you want it black is the lowest you want it you know that's what this is so white the highest black the lowest and just gonna color it color it in once again i'll be back with you when i've done that all right when you're done with that you are going to need to um also resize that to 1080 once you're done with that save it and you're also going to want to come here and resize this to 1280 or 1280. Anyway, once you're done with all of this, you're going to want to go to this website, smart-page.net slash smart normal map. From here, you're going to want to click load and you're going to want to find your skin. And once you get to your folder, you want to click the normal one, that's one that says normal. From here, you're going to want to change this to 95, and once that changes, everything should look good. And if, make sure everything's how you want it. From here, you're going to want to click save, 
So you can actually save it over your white one, you don't need it anymore, but I'm not just in case. Once you've got that, go back to Blender, and now we can go start working in the shading tab. From here, you're going to want to click on your player, go to the first layer, and if you have two layers, you're going to want to have, like, click on the second layer. From here, you're going to want to click on the diffuse texture, and just copy and paste it two times. This way you get everything you need. Uh, why did the output go into there? You can get one of your things and this one you're going to open your material map. Put your material map into the node, plug the color into specular, specular tint, and roughness. So from that, that should add material. Now from here, you're going to want to go to your uh, this, the third one, open your normal map. From here, you're going to want to add a normal map node, plug the color into color, change color space to non-color, plug the normal into the normal. Now from here, you should see that it's looking all nice and bumpy, how we like it. Now I'm going to go add a light, get your point light from here. Grab the point light, move it where you need it to go. Oh, this is this light has like no strength on it. Okay, you're also gonna want to change the render engine to cycles because it just looks better. It takes longer, but it looks so much better. You're gonna want it at cycles. Increase the strength of your light, and now you can see ooh, nice and bumpy. Alrighty, so from here, you're you get to get to get to start doing your the fun stuff, posing. So, um, to pose, you are going to want to click on the bones and go into pose mode. Now from here you can pose your model, do whatever you want to do with it, and I'm going to pose my model and I'll be back with you. Once you're done posing your character, you're going to want to add another thing, a camera. Go to object mode and add a camera. From here you're going to want to click zero on your numpad and then click shift and tilde to move your camera around. It's just an easier way of moving it instead of getting it in the viewport, moving it jankily around. Press shift if you want to go fast, and then pose your camera how you want it. I'm going to make it like this. Q goes down, E goes up. Very not helpful to know. And once you got your camera in the right place, you can place it there. So you can change the background by going to the world settings and over here you can change the background color to anything you want. I'm going to change it to like a dark purple. That looks very nice. And I'm going to go out of the camera. I think I'm going to keep this how it is. I'm going to copy it and paste it. I'm going to put it behind it, but I'm going to put it a bit further. This one, I'm going to change the color to be like pink, like a dark purple. That'll look in the back over here. See how that looks? I think I'm actually going to turn the strength of this light down a bit. So after you're done getting all your lights set up, you're pretty much done. You can send this to render, but I have some tips for you and we'll roll those right now. Okay, so say you want to make your character glow in some parts. So from here, to make a glow, you can actually go into shading and you can just make it glow, right? But you don't want that because it's gonna make the whole thing glow and you don't want the whole thing to glow. You just want some parts to glow. So you're gonna want to go back to your folder. You're gonna want to make a new copy and you're gonna name it whatever your name is and just put like glow. None of this name's necessary, it's just good for organization. So then you're going to open it with your desired program, and you're going to go to Canvas and resize it back to 64, so it's easier to work with pixels that way. From here, you're going to want to get everything that you want to glow. You're going to paint it the color you want it to glow, and then you're going to want to go to your eraser and just erase everything else. And I'll be back with you when I'm done with that. Alrighty, once you are done with the glow map, you're going to want to change that back to 12,080. Save that into your folder. From there, you're going to go back into Blender, copy the diffuse texture again. This one, you're going to want to change the image to your glow. 
plug the color into emission. You're gonna wanna go into render mode for this to see this and turn the emission strength to however much you want it to be. Now you got glow and stuff and it looks pretty fancy. Our next set to make things look really nice and fancy, you're gonna wanna add subsurface scattering. You're gonna wanna go back into the shading tab once again. You're going to get the main thing with your texture on it, plug the color into subsurface color. Then you're gonna wanna turn the subsurface up a bit to like 0 0.01. You don't want it that high. Then you're gonna wanna click on the radius and you wanna change all of these to 0 0.1. That'll look pretty cool. It'll take longer, a bit longer to render, but it'll look a lot nicer. It'll round out the edges a bit, add more like glow, add an outline, and that's pretty much it. If this tutorial helped you, consider subscribing, liking the video, comment any suggestions for other tutorials I can make in the future, and I'll see you in the next one.